Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and today I am here to review the 2011 horror sci-fi thriller, Apollo 18. Apollo 18 sees footage from a secret mission to the moon, is found, and shows why we haven't gone back since. Ooh. Yeah, not at all. Anyway. <laughs> Apollo 18, what did I think of it? I thought it's a pretty lame uh, found footage sci-fi uh, flick. You know, a uh, horror flick, if you will. Um, it's Basically, they're cashing in on the Blair Witch paranormal activity craze that's going around. Some people still think this shit is real. Really? <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I thought it might have been a cool by the trailer. You know, it looked like, oh, that might be decent. But, uh, you know, as soon as I found out it was rated PG-13, my interest went from here down to... And down even further. Down to the bottom of the bottomless pit, baby. Because <laughs> I knew they aren't going to show a whole lot of cool stuff. The film takes a very long time to get started. And it took a long time for me to get interested into the film. Um, and it's very dull until some action uh, happens, which is very spread out through the film. And it actually happens. Uh, <laughs> when the action finally does happen, and it's revealed what's going on, it... Uh, it goes over like a fart in church, in my opinion. I was like, really? Really? That's what it is? Anyway, uh, the premise is good, and it should have been better. It, you know, it, it, not even could have. It should have been better. Um, but, you know, it, the, what ha happened in this film, it just didn't click with me. Um, the cast, including uh, Warren Christie, Lloyd Owens, and Ryan Robbins, who are unknowns, unless maybe they've been on a couple things, but they're unknown to me at least, um, which is like what I like in this type of film, because, you know, it has more effect than if Brad Pitt's on the moon, and you're like, oh, I know you're faking Brad Pitt, but, <laughs> you know, um, but there were really, really no breakout performances here. Um, luckily the film has a short run time of 86 minutes, which is the best, one of the best parts of the, about the film. <laughs> that it's short and pain, well I won't say painless, but it's short. <laughs> I'm sure there are some people out there who like this film, but in my opinion, Apollo 18 is footage that never should have been found. Therefore, the A-list gives the film Apollo 18 the rating of... Suck it! Yeah, I haven't done one of those for a little while. Oh no, One Missed Call, I guess. The last horror movie I did. <laughs> but anyway, it gets a suck it. If you want to venture out and try Apollo 18 for yourself, don't. <laughs> you can by checking it out like I did through the Red Box. You can get it through Netflix, and of course you can find it at a DVD or Blu-ray store near... You. So, peeps, until next time. It'll probably be another random review. We're almost done with those. So make sure you tune in. Till next time. Don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Check out some of my other videos. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on the Twitter. And, of course, you can check out this review and every review at RottenTomatoes.com. So, peeps, until next time, Troop. Ah.